Number 42. Water gas, a mixture of H2 and CO, is an important industrial fuel produced by the reaction of steam with red-hot coke, essentially pure carbon. Then we have letter C. It says, what will happen to the concentration of each reactant and product at equilibrium if H2O is removed? Okay, so we're changing up the system here. We're removing the H2O, and we want to see what happens, you know, to the equilibrium. So that's Le Chatelier's principle. So the first thing is, if we're going to go by the rules, we just have to make sure that the H2O is a gas or aqueous. And it is. So I'm going to go through the rules. So now, down here, if you remove something, right? In this case, we're dropping the amount of H2O. We're removing it. You have way too little of it, right? So I drop this all the way down. I have too little. What do I want to do? I want to get it back, right? So whenever you have too little of something, you want to make it back. So you will shift to that same side. Since this is on the reactant side, you would want to shift this way. And then what's going to happen? You'll make more since you're going the reverse direction. So once you make this arrow, you basically get rid of what's going on and you counteract it. So now what's going to happen? Well, Let's first take note of the gases. There's three of them, right? So since this is a gas, the concentration will increase. And since these are on the product side, the concentration of CO and H2 will decrease, right? But now here comes a little tricky one because it's a solid and it's not a gas. Remember, solids are not allowed in the KC formula. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say concentration. Remember, that's brackets. So the concentration of H2O would increase because I needed to get it back. The concentration of CO would drop. And the concentration of H2 would also drop. Now, here's the thing. You might say, well, how can I increase this one and have nothing to do with this one? This would also increase. I mean, it's got to right? Because you can't just selectively make something and not something else. But the thing here is that what are you really doing with the solid? You are increasing the mass. You are not increasing the concentration. So I'm just going to say not brackets. Remember, brackets means concentration. So that's basically the answer with the solid. They only wanted to know what the, what's going to happen to the concentration. Nothing's going to happen to the concentration here because it's a solid. You're just going to have more mass of it. So for C, you know, this does not exist. No effect. There's no such thing as concentration with the solid. So you don't even write it. Okay? So the concentration would not be increased. And these would be your answers. Okie dokie. So hopefully this helped. We have two more parts for this question, so hang tight. Part D is coming up in a little bit. Um, I will see you all in later lessons, but I'll see you in part D. All right? Okay. Bye-bye.